Hi guys, over the past two months, I have been working on creating my own gameplay character and、uh, integrating it into Unreal Engine. Today, I will share the results with you. I have developed a fully rigged and modular character, meaning you can dynamically change its arms, legs, clothes, and even its face. In this video, I will walk you through my entire workflow, detailing the tools and the techniques I used to achieve this. My goal is to provide you with insights and guidance if you are looking to create characters for your own game projects. It's been quite a journey, spending countless hours to reach this point. I plan to continue refining my process and creating more characters to enhance my game. With each new character, I aim to streamline my workflow further so that I can produce more detailed tutorial videos in the future. First, start from the face creation, and I was using Unreal's MetaHuman to create the face. Once I'm happy with the look, I import it into the Unreal Engine. After import, you will get face mesh and the textures, but the mesh got too much details. It's perfect to making film or cutting scenes, but it's never good for real-time gameplay. So I export it to Blender to get a simplified face mesh and keep face details through texture baking. The MetaHuman provides seven level of details, and I chose the number four for my base face mesh. After finish the face, I start to create clothes and using Marvelous Designer to design clothes. Then I import clothes into Blender using hard surface modeling to make the shoes and the pieces of armors on the legs, and、uh, apply subdivision modifier to smoothing the clothes, and、uh, manual sculpt the wraps on the arm. Then I got my full body high poly mesh. It、uh, contains eleven mini triangles at this point. After finish the high poly mesh, I remesh all the parts to get low poly mesh. It will reduce millions of triangles into couple of thousands of triangles. The low poly mesh should、uh, as close as high poly mesh. So in later steps, I will bake details for texturing from high poly to low poly, and also need to keep a reasonable good edge flow to get higher quality rig animation. Next step is to rig the character. I'm using Game Rig Tool from CG Dev to quickly apply Unreal compatible skeleton to my character. Using Voxel Heat Skinning Tool to apply skinning to mesh. The Voxel Heat Skinning Tool is a paid plugin, but、uh, it's super cheap and did a very good job for skinning the character. I will put both link into this video's description. I also made some manual weight paint to make a better deform. To work with Unreal, I using the Send to Unreal plugin, so I can push the both mesh and skeleton directly from Blender into Unreal without need to manually export FBX files. It saves me a lot of time for in and out from Blender to Unreal. I will also put the plugin in this video's description. Once I'm satisfied with the character rig in Blender, I consolidate all components into a single mesh for export to Unreal Engine. Following this, I set up Icon Rig and Icon Retargeter. Currently in my game, I'm using Unreal's 
a many skeleton for all the animations. We're using the IK retargeter to dynamically adapt these animations to various characters. At this stage, I test the different animations, finding parts where not deformed properly, and back to Blender to adjust the rig, and send back to Unreal again until I achieve the desired quality. Once I decided that uh, no further changes were needed for the character mesh, I returned to Blender to prepare for texturing. First, I broke the mesh into parts, matching the names of my high poly mesh components. Then I unwrapped the UVs, ensure that uh, all the islands use as much space as possible. Finally, I create materials for the clothes, legs, and arms. After preparing everything, I sent my low poly mesh to Substance Painter. I also imported the high poly mesh to bake its details onto the low poly mesh. Using Substance Painter, I applied materials to all the different parts of the mesh. Finally, I export the mesh from Blender again, this time combining the body parts into groups and creating separate skeleton meshes for the head, body, arms and legs. I then applied all of them into my modular character blueprint. My last step was to add clothes simulations and apply weight painting to the lower clothes as well as the front and the back scarf. That's everything I have done to create this modular character and uh, integrate it into my game. I hope this gives you a general idea of character creation if you want to make one for your game. I plan to create another 3 or 4 characters over the next few weeks and hope to refine my workflow and explain each step in more details in the future. Thank you for watching and uh, I look forward to make another video in the coming weeks.